Hello everyone. Lifestyle related diseases such as obesity and diabetes are known as national diseases in Japan today. And the most effective prevention and improvement for those diseases are mainly changing diets as well as lifestyle habits. Today, we will introduce a well balanced, delicious menu consists of three dishes and a soup for prevention and improvement of those diseases with 500 to 600 kilocalories per meal, considered for reduced salt. Cholesterol intake and balanced nutrition as well. Meal of three dishes with a soup has been a traditional gastronomic culture in Japan since ancient times. It refers to a meal comes with a soup such as miso soup or a clear broth soup, plus three dishes including one main dish and two side dishes. Adding some pickles and rice, Japanese main diet, you have a very well balanced meal. Here is the three dishes with a soup. Main dish is salmon chirashi sushi, which is the foundation and main dishes combined together. The first side dish is chilled boiled vegetables, and the second side dish is cooked bitter gourd with mashed edamame green soybean soup, and served kyoho grapes for dessert. First, chilled boiled vegetables, the first side dish. Secret key is to carefully prepare and cook each ingredient separately as well as making a good broth so you can enjoy it with light seasoning. Soak the dried koya tofu in water to make it soft. When the koya tofu becomes soft, drain and cut into eight identical pieces. The seasoning is coming to boil now, so let's put tofu into it. Reduce the heat to simmer and cover it with a drop lid. Next, soak dried shiitake mushrooms in water to make them soft. Remove root ends from the mushrooms. The seasoning is coming to boil, so cook the shiitake as well. Like before, cover it with a drop lid. As for an eggplant, peel some skin. It's great if you peel it vertically. Now cut it in half. If you put some cuts on surface, it absorbs the seasoning well. And so let's put some cuts on it. Cut in half vertically and then in half. Soak them in water to remove harshness. Add the eggplant once the seasoning broth starts to boil. To keep the nice color of eggplants, continue boiling without covering with a drop lid. Now cut the pumpkin. One piece is about 30 grams. Plane off edges of pumpkin to keep the nice firmness. Add the salted rice malt to the broth to add an extra flavor. Once it's boiled, add pumpkin and simmer with a drop lid. Rub okra with salt to keep a bright color and eliminate villi. Cut the brown string parts. Boil them lightly and chill. Now put the boiled okra into the liquid seasoning. For tomatoes, make cuts like a cross on them before boiling. You can easily peel the skin by putting them in boiling water for 7 seconds and then into ice water. Now put the peeled tomatoes into the chilled liquid seasoning. Finally, decorate all the ingredients into a plate. Next, salmon chirashi sushi, today's foundation and main dish. For salted salmon, you can either use a lightly salted one or fresh salmon marinated with the salted rice malt overnight. For fresh salmon, put the salted rice malt, which is about 10% of the salmon weight, to the surface of meat. Its flavor gets significantly enhanced after marinated overnight in the refrigerator.
This is the rice washed and soaked in water for 30 minutes. Put the rice in a pan first and then pour appropriate quantity of water. Add some sake and kombu kelp. Mix together from the bottom and start to cook. Cook with high heat at first. Once it's becoming to boil, mix from the bottom one time. And then turn into low heat and cook for another 12 minutes. Right before turning off, cook at high heat for 10 seconds and ensure that you hear a cracking sound. Let the rice sit for 5 minutes after turning the heat off. Meanwhile, make the sushi vinegar. This is vinegar. Add sugar and salt. Rice is done now, so move it to a wooden sushi tub. Add sushi vinegar evenly in rice and mix thoroughly as if cutting it. Rice gets sticky, and so it is a key to mix rice as if cutting it. The rice gets shiny as it is being fanned and cooled. Take out the salmon from the grill and skin it. Remove the bones and roughly flake salmon meat. Put the salted rice mold to the cucumber slices. Rub the cucumber with it a little bit. As you see, the salted rice mold let the cucumber dehydrate. Just lightly squeeze them. Cut Japanese basils in half and then into fine strips. Cut Myoga ginger into fine strips and remove the core. Cut the regular ginger along the fiber direction. Put in water to make it crisp. Cut lemon into thin quarter slices of 2 millimeters. It is the salmon flakes. Here is the drained cucumber. Add sesame seeds. Let's mix once. Next, cooked bitter gourd. Cut the ends of bitter gourd and then into half vertically. Remove the seeds inside with a spoon. Then cut it very thin. Sprinkle the salted rice mold, which is about 5% of quantity of the bitter gourd. Once the bitter gourd is softened by the salted rice mold, add it in hot water. Mix two or three times and drain with a strainer, and then chill it with ice water. Mix broth and light colored soy sauce. Add the drained bitter gourd into the liquid seasoning. Sprinkle some sesame seeds and dried bonito flakes using bamboo skewers. Now, mashed edamame soybean soup. Edamame contains high vitamin B1 and is effective to recover from fatigue. 
First, rub the edamame with salt to eliminate the villi. Wash them with salt. Now boil the salt washed edamame in boiling water. Take out the edamame from paws and peel the thin skin as well. Now season the broth. Let's start with the broth. Boil the broth and add some meat in. And once it comes to boil, we move from heat and add the salted rice mold. Let it sit for a while to cool it. Put the skinned edamame into a blender and add chilled broth. Move the mashed soup into a bowl at first. Pour it in a serving bowl and garnish with a thinly sliced myoga ginger. Now, a summer menu of three dishes with a soup is ready to serve. Prevention is most important for lifestyle diseases. The number one key is salt. In Japan, today's recommended intake of salt is 9 grams for male and 7.5 grams for female. Excess intake of salt leads to higher blood pressure and arterial sclerosis, and therefore it is important to minimize your salt intake as much as possible. Recommended vegetable intake is 350 grams per day as a goal. Vegetables contain vitamins, minerals, and fibers, nutrition to tone your body, and so it's highly recommended to eat a plenty of vegetables. For your reference, today's menu contains about 185 grams of vegetables. How did you like our summer menu of three dishes with a soup? Again, it is very important to prevent lifestyle-related diseases with your diet. We hope this menu will help you to prevent those diseases as well as to improve your health. Next time, we will introduce a fall menu of three dishes with a soup. Nakamura Gakuen University Nutrition Clinic is engaged in nutrition support to help improve conditions of the patients with life-related diseases such as obesity and diabetes.